everybody. We are back for the legendary Burbit guide for you. It's not necessarily a hotspot guide. It's just a guide generally about the <laughs> legendary Burbit because they only he only has four spawns, uh, which I'll start with here. So he spawned this week right here. Okay, and then he can spawn down here. He can spawn here and here. Um, I'll tell you it goes in a certain order, so you kind of know where to go. Um, it's Again, legendary fish do not work like great ones. They are more of just a community activity, going out, finding the legendary fish, see where they're spawning at, and then see who can you know get the highest score on the legendary fish every week. Um, it's super fun. I love the legendaries. I love the mechanic that they represent. It's not like, you know, grinding for a great one. It's like, it's like a weekly, it's not even a comp, it doesn't have to be a competition. It could be a competition just for yourself to see how high of a score you can get, or you could try to, you know, just, it's a challenge and it's something that you can all, everybody can share. And it's the same experience pretty much for everybody. You know, just the only difference is how light of tackle you want to go try to reel them in but anyway so here's some info on the burbit you know they bite on the legendary fish bite on the same stuff that the regular versions of those fish do so here's store henrik the weight and the length those don't change the score is the only thing that will really change and that is depending on what setup you use here are the traits bottom lurker died out daredevil um he is n not very hard to catch He's only 21 pounds, probably one of the easiest of the legendary fish to get, given that he's only 21 pounds. Um, he says he's a night lurker, but you definitely don't have to wait till nighttime to get him. I think I got him in the daytime both times I've caught him. Um, and for me, I use shad this time, and I just jig with the shad. I'll roll that footage for you, but they bite pretty quick. As long as you get him in the relative area, he'll come up, grab that hook for you. Now, the hook size on this guy is a size 2 is the maximum. I'd recommend anywhere between a 5 and a 2. Um, I think you can go a little bit smaller than a 5, but a 5 and a 2, good hook size. If you want to use liver or red worm, um, or if you're trying to use a shad, I use the size 2 shad, biggest possible shad. I just jigged with that and got him pretty quick. So I'll roll that footage for you. Again, he's not super hard to find. You know, as far as depth goes, he's in pretty shallow areas. So. If you just wanna, if you're using liver or red worm or any other bait, just drop it down to about one foot, maybe at most. And uh, if you get that, if you get it within the area of him, he'll bite it pretty quick. So there's your guide for Henrik. And again, we'll go to the map. He was here this week. So the next time he comes around, which will not be next week and it won't be the week after, because next week it'll be the pike. The week after it'll be the salmon. Then the burbot will come back and when he comes back around he'll be in one of these three spots here so again uh thanks everybody if uh, that was helpful please leave a like if you want to see more guides more hot spots you know consider subscribing i'd appreciate that a lot and uh we'll go ahead and i'll just roll that footage for you of me catching them so you guys can kind of see how to do it and uh, get an idea for yourself anyway have a good day and i'll catch you in the next one I do that every time. Catch you in the next. Jake for Henrik. Ugh. I can't be bothered. It's a lot of work. What? It, what are they like? Shad? Okay. Do I have a good shad for that? Maybe. Maybe I've got a good shad for that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Oh, weird, Jurassic. Uh, Jurassic, so try fishing from 6 a.m. to noon for the brookies. 6 a.m. to noon for the brookies in that spot. How often does he bite in the day?
He's not a good shad. Come on. Last time I just cast right at that waterfall and he bit right off the jump in the middle of the day. Uh, big boy, I was probably filming a video. Last time I just put it right in the middle there. Missed water. That's what I thought. Uh, I'll do, I'll do this over here, and then uh, we'll go cast the other side. Um, <laughs> drastic. Yeah, rainbows are kind of like the salmon of Golden Ridge, but um, sometimes it sometimes the pike can be that way too. Yeah, gaming. The legendaries aren't really supposed to be like hard to find. They're just supposed to be like a, a fun fight. You know, it's like a weekly challenge. Like, how small of a setup can you use to get them? Is that level 13 just... <laughs> He's really just going for it. Nice. Proud of you. There we go. There it is. There he is. He's just going to come right in on this setup. There he is. Come on. There he is. Ba boom. Store Henrik. All right. So you, I'm going to show the setup after this. I'm going to show the location. 241 credits. Boom, boom. Take that little screenshot. Get a little screeny. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do that. And then I'm going to show my inventory here. We used this rod, this reel, braided line, size 2 jig with the shad. And then this is the location he is at this week. Right here is your main menu. He's right here. <laughs>